the Odyssey News Network. Hello, I'm Randall Carlisle. You know, most people enter these doors here at the Odyssey House outpatient treatment program to deal with addiction issues. Well, recently a rather high profile person entered these doors to learn all he could about substance use disorders. And the great thing is that person actually has the power to help people trying to recover. I think it's pretty clear there, there's not a, a family or a person in this country that isn't touched by addiction one way or another. Yep, Salt Lake County Mayor Ben McAdams came to an Odyssey alumni group. He wanted to hear from them, admitting he has a lot to learn and they have the expertise. I'm a lawyer, so I didn't know a lot about addiction and treatment before I became mayor. Odyssey therapist Christy Johnson invited him, their personal friends. The mayor says the old method of putting addicts behind bars is not the answer and he's always looking for a better solution. Salt Lake County runs the jail, we pay for the jail, we run homeless services and behavioral health services and and I just say there's got to be a better way to do things than the way we've done it for forever and we're trying to figure that out and I, I'd actually love your thoughts on uh, and perspectives on how we're doing, where we're falling short. I'm sure there are a lot of places where we're not doing as, as well as we could. Recovering addict Katie Cobio told the mayor that there needs to be more transitional housing for people leaving treatment. Um, I know that was big for me was knowing that okay I'm leaving inpatient treatment but I, I'm still with Odyssey I'm still living in their transitional housing and I still have that support. I'm impressed you guys are all on your own two feet you know managing the stresses of life like anybody probably more more stress than most people but you manage and and that's impressive but I think you got to help people it's kind of like you got to take off the training wheel slowly as people learn to to take care of themselves and I think that's an area where we still are kind of falling short that having the treatment is necessary but then what so I agree with you on transitional housing one of the lighter moments came when one person in the group asked McAdams about the bridge, that device available at the Martindale Clinic that almost instantly takes away the horrible effects of opioid and heroin withdrawal, and they had to explain it to him. I was thinking, because mayors, mayors do so many different things, I was thinking like a viaduct, is it a pedestrian bridge, a bikeway? A, <laughs> a learning experience for both the mayor and the Odyssey group. You have to have compassion for people and admiration for people who have overcome so much. You know, I think I have no idea what it would be like to, to overcome what you guys are, have overcome, and it, I think it's impressive. Uh, it was a great give and take. Ben McAdams genuinely wanted to learn all he could from the Odyssey alumni group, and he'll use that knowledge in future county programs dealing with the opioid epidemic. Randall Carlisle reporting. This is the Odyssey News Network.